Hello, my name is Brian Mitov, the president of Mitov Software, and in this video we'll demonstrate how Delphi can communicate with Arduino. To program Arduino, we'll use one of the latest products from Mitov Software called Visuino. Visuino is a graphical development environment for Arduino bots. It is a tradition to start demonstration of new technology with Hello World program. In this case, however, we'll start with Hello Delphi. Visuino allows you to program Arduino by simply dropping visual components and connecting them. In this case, we'll start with text value component. We'll set the value to Hello Delphi. And we'll connect the output of the component to the serial port. After finishing our design, we can generate the Arduino code by clicking on this button or pressing F9. This will open the Arduino IDE, which is a free open source development environment. And here we can see the generated by Visuino code. And we can compile and upload it to our Arduino board by clicking on this button. The code has been uploaded, and now we can see the result. Visuino also includes a serial terminal, and we can connect to the Arduino board with it. Now, if we restart our board by pressing on the reset button of the Arduino, we will see Hello Delphi arriving through the serial port. We can also make Hello Delphi appear periodically. We can do that by adding a clock gem. We can leave the frequency as once a second, or we can do it two times a second. Again, we can generate the Arduino code, compile, and upload. If we connect, we'll see that twice a second, we'll receive Hello Delphi. Now that we have created our first Arduino project, it's time to switch to Delphi and see how we can receive data from Arduino. We'll start with a VCL form application. We'll add a TCL COM port component, which is part of the coming communication lab from me to software. We'll add a terminal. also part of communication lab. We'll connect the two components. Finally, we'll select the COM port to which our Arduino board is connected, compile and run the application. You can see that we start to receive Hello Delphi. Receiving Hello Delphi is probably good enough for quick demonstration. However, in reality, the advantage of the Arduino board is that it has a large number of analog and digital inputs and outputs, and we usually want to receive data from those. So to continue, we'll start with new project. We will connect analog input zero to the serial port and we'll generate the Arduino code. Then we'll compile and upload the code. If we switch to Visuino, we can connect and see the data. In addition, Visuino has a score component that allows me to monitor the data as it arrives from the sensor. In this case, I use a photoresistor and I measure the lighting condition. At the moment, I'm covering and uncovering the resistor with my hand. If we switch back to our Delphi application, we can run it again and see the same data arriving here. Now the comport component also has on the receive event and in it 
we can receive the data and convert it to text. Since I know that the data arrives in text form, this is fine. However, working with this type of data, especially since it's going to arrive in chunks, it's difficult. Furthermore, this approach allows us to receive data from only one data channel. Arduino boards have a very large number of analog and digital channels, and accessing from Delphi only one channel at a time is hardly practical. Visual and Communication Lab have very good solution for this problem. Again, we'll start with new project in Visuino. We'll add a packet component. We'll connect the output of the packet component to the serial channel. We'll add a couple of analog channels to the packet component and a couple of digital channels. For the head marker, we'll add some random value, as example 5555. This will allow Arduino and Delphi to identify the unique starting of a package. The packet and packet components guarantee that this value will not appear anywhere in the data using special algorithm. Now we can connect our analog channels. as well as our digital channels. Furthermore, we can specify how often we want to receive data updates. We can do that again by adding a clock generator. And in this case, we'll set that we want to receive data 10 times a second. If we don't do that, will receive data as fast as Arduino can provide it, which can overwhelm our communication. Now we can generate the necessary Arduino code. And we can upload it to our Arduino. Visuino is capable of displaying multi-channel packetized data. In this case, we'll select the packet component we want to process data from and click Connect. You can see all of the data arriving. And you can monitor it in gauges and LEDs as well. Now that we have Arduino sending the packetized data, Let's see how we can receive and visualize this data in Delphi. We'll start again with VCL form application, add a COM port component, select the port for the component, add unpacketizer, select the same value for the bytes of the head marker. Double click on the unpacket component, add two float channels and two boolean channels. Add a scope component, gauge, thermometer, and two LEDs. Switch to the open wire view. Connect the COM port to the unpacket. The first channel of the unpacket to the scope. And the gauge component, the thermometer to the second floating point channel. The boolean to the first LED and the second LED to the second boolean channel. We can rearrange the components again. Since the analog channels in Visuino are normalized and have values between 0 and 1, it will be best if we set 
range 0 to 1 for both the thermometer and the angular gauge. So for both of them, we'll set a max value of 1. Let's compile and run the application. You can see the data arriving from Arduino and being visualized. If we want to use the data inside our code, we can use a real value component. And connect it to one of the analog channels. The component has on process data event where we can receive the data and do something with it. If we want to process the Boolean data, we can use this example a TLL sync component connected to the Boolean channel and implement its on change event. There are also other available options. In addition to being able to send data to serial port, the Visuino is capable of sending the same data over wired or wireless network. You can achieve that by using Ethernet shield on your Arduino board and adding that shield to the Arduino component, then adding sockets to that shield and specifying the corresponding port of the sockets. Once this is done, you will have available TCP server socket where you can connect your packet component in the same way as you did with the serial port. Alternatively, you can use ESP8266 Wi-Fi board as ESP8266 is controlled through a serial communication. You can use one of the serial ports on your Arduino and control the module. Once that is done, you can also add sockets, such as server socket, and again, use packet component to send data. We are working to add socket component to communication lab, and they should be available in the next month or so. This allows creating real Internet of Things solutions with Delphi and Visuino. This networking functionality allows not only Arduino to connect with Delphi, but multiple Arduino boards to connect and talk to each other. In addition to Visuino and the rest of the Mito software libraries for Delphi, Mito software also offers a beta version of the OpenWire Studio. OpenWire Studio allows easy creation of multitude of data visualization and processing solutions. In this case, we'll use OpenWire Studio to receive data from Arduino and visualize it. We'll start again by adding comport component, unpacket component, scope, gauge, thermometer, and two LEDs. We'll select the port for the COM port component, connect it to the unpacket component, add two floating point channels, two boolean channels, set 5555 for the bytes of the head marker and connect the other components similar way as we did in Delphi. Also set max 1 for the thermometer and angular gauge then run the application and you will see the data 
arriving and being displayed. We can also run in debug mode. Where we can see the data as it arrives. In addition to the demonstrated Arduino support with Delphi, Mito Software offers a range of other products, including Video Lab, a video processing library. Audio Lab, Audio Processing Library, Signal Lab, Digital Signal Processing Library, Vision Lab, Computer Vision Library, Plot Lab, Data Visualization Library, Instrument Lab, Visual Instrumentation Library, Intelligence Lab, Artificial Intelligence Library, Logic Lab, Boolean Logic Library, Animation Lab, Universal Animation Library, Visual Live Binding, Universal Visual Live Binding Library, Me Too Frontime, Free Delphi Library, OpenWire Studio, which we demonstrated a graphical development environment for Windows. Visuino, which we also saw a graphical development environment for Arduino. We also support some open source libraries, including OpenWire and IGDI+.